Right then, we're just here at Spotty, just coming off a bike. I've got a really sweaty helmet, so what are you going to do? Well, we've been sent a little, little unit here from Asuga. And you pop your helmet on here like so. And then you flick the switch and nothing happens because somebody's unplugged it. <laughs> Plug it in, here we go. So, as you can see, there's a little blue light. It's got a, like a dehumidifier or it's a deioniser or something. But what I'll do, it's been drying my helmet lovely over the past two days. And what I'll do is when I get back to the UK, we'll do a little bit a little bit more on it, but um, it does work. It's a bit noisy, but it does work. Ah, ha, ha, there he is, the Martin man. Martin, right, help me out with this. I, and pretty much everyone else on Sports Bike of the Year, used this to dry our uh, helmets, and it did work. Now, I think, I, I, I can't remember what I said on, on site, but, uh, I think I've got the name right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about this. Asuga? Asuga. Asuga. So this is, um, this is a helmet dryer slash, I'm going to say sanitizer to a degree. Okay. Um, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, helmet dryer is probably the best term for it. Um, so yeah, by Asunga. Asuga. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been designed so that when you're on track and it's been hot and you're sweating you can pop this uh, pop your lid on this um, and dry it out and also try and sanitize it deodorize it at the same time and how on earth does that happen so basically let me find the plug Ooh. so basically um you could probably see before i switch it on the fan underneath here mm -hmm. um, and then this little jobber which is the the I think it's the iron deioniser. Think, oh, I think, yeah. You've done your homework. I've then. done my homework on this. Excellent. Um, and what's that supposed to do? So this is supposed to eliminate the odour. Oh, okay. So when I say sanitise, I mean the odour, and you know, eliminate that kind of thing. Well, um, to be fair, Carl's helmet is usually pretty smelly. Yeah. And it wasn't that smelly. Maybe. So maybe, maybe um, it did its job. So if we just pop this one on here. Okay. Um, so it covers the fan and the the ionizer bit in mm -hmm. there. Um, do you leave your lid open or close, uh, sorry, your lid, your visor open or close it? I close it. Okay. Um, and there's, the, the main reason for that is that when the air's pushing up, it's then going through the vents as well. Okay. Um, and sort of clearing that out and rather than just the air just coming out here, it's circulating inside. I think personal preference perhaps, or maybe there's some advice yeah, on maybe, their website yeah, or yeah. something as to what's best. I but... think I've seen a picture and it creates a mini tornado in there. So. We'll keep it shut so that's all okay. contained in there. All right. Um, so yeah, it just plugs in um, at the back. Yeah. Um, just take Which is going to quickly lead us to my only problem with this product, but we'll get to that. Um, and then if I switch that on the wall, which I have, which you have. Start her up. And we've got a few little LEDs on it mm -hmm. just to give it a bit of uh, bit jazz, a bit of presence. And then we're going to pop them in. Okay. Okay. And with those vents open, you can feel the air coming through there. You can. It's actually it's fierce. It's quite. So yeah. Um, so there you go. That's that's it working. It depends how much you sweated, but you leave it for half an hour, twenty minutes. It took about. Um, we're a proper sweaty. Yeah. It took about twenty minutes. There you go. So yeah. Um, so yeah. There you go. Now, tell us how much this is. Uh, so euros, it's 199 euros. So it's probably more for your serious track dayers than your, your average Joes. Um, but, you know, it'd be quite good in bike shops, that kind of thing. You know, you've got customers coming in at the weekend, if they're stopping for a coffee, pop it on there while they're on the coffee and, um, and away you go. But well, and shout to each other, because this is my only issue with this. What would you want to say? Well, it's quite simple. Right, um, take the helmet off. Turn it off. Right, this fan, right, okay, is essentially the same kind of fan 
or at least it looks like the same kind of fan that you get in a PC case. Yeah, sure. Now, knowing, don't ask me how, but knowing quite a lot about this, that kind of thing, I know for a fact you can get very good fans, roughly the same size, that will... I mean, I'm assuming this is so loud because it's really moving to get stuff done quickly, right? I They've so, turned yeah. the RPM up. Yeah. Right, okay. My only issue with this thing, I will say it's great because it, cle it dried yeah. all our helmets. My only issue is, for the price, they could have fitted a fan that could hit that RPM but be a lot quieter. And that's... Yeah. But I must also say, when it was in the garage... You couldn't really hear that in the garage. That is kind of annoying here, yeah, or in, probably in an, in an office, or if you're at home yeah. or something, you're just kind of like, oh, God, well, that's we've loud. Got it in, we've got two offices, so we have it. If you're not in, we'll have it in your mm. office working, and it's fine. Um, but yeah, you're right. If you're in an office with other people, it's not going to work. But the, the idea <laughs> of this is to have it in that garage environment where, like you say, there's going to be louder things going on. Exactly, so. exactly. So it, it's, it's a minor... Yeah. gripe given the price because uh, listen i'm not an exchange rate computer but i'm guessing i mean i've no idea what the exchange rate with euros is probably the freaking same or something yeah, right yeah. today who knows yeah. it changes all the time but um you know let's say for argument's sake 180 quid roughly yeah um it's quite a lot of money but that being said it's also a nice bit of gucci you're right for your track day everyone and you can be the man everyone comes to there you go everyone oh asks dave about it dave can i stick um, mate honestly this this is the one thing everyone was using this we had like 10 or 12 riders and everybody and you'd be like waiting have a quick feel is that dry sweet yeah. get it off pop it on so minor <laughs> Minor quibble aside, I think this is actually all right. Um, I just don't know. I, I've never really seen many other helmet dryers, so I've no idea if this is even ballpark. I, no, I don't, to be honest with you. Um, but I, you know, I, I like it. I think it's great, um, and mm. and we will continue to be using this because it just it does work. Well, we have been. We've been using it well, yeah. non-stop, and I must admit, it is. The, the, that is the extra. That is the when, nice yeah. bit of extra. When we first got it, you were like, "Oh, we, we, you know, you could probably knock this up together." But this bit and the fact that it all works together mm -hmm. is, is definitely worth the the extra longer. Okay. Um, so yeah. So there you go. That is the Asuga helmet dryer. We've used it. We like it. It's a little bit noisy. You never know in a in a track day or in a garage somewhere it might knock you off a bit at home but apart from that it's pretty cool thank you martin cheers